Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone's having a blessed day. Alright guys, got another little uh, tool pickup for you here. Another cordless impact or you know battery impact, whatever you want to call it. Uh, another DeWalt. This is their DCF921B. Now B stands for brushless, so this is uh, brushless. This is part of their Atomic Compact Series. Uh, now this one here, impacts per minute, is uh, 3200. The max RPMs is 2800 rpms now the trigger is variable speed so you can go anywhere in between there uh weight online they said the weight for this is two 2.3 pounds uh so right around there fastening torque is 300 foot pounds and the breakaway torque is 450 pounds so that's pretty good for just about if you're going to use this on a car or anything like that this should be uh, plenty for that plus like i said it's compact so it's a lot smaller um it does have the hog ring for on the tip there for extension. It does not have the ball detent, so it is quick release for the ball detent. It does have the three LED lights. It's got a four-speed control on it as well. Like I said, we'll take a better look at that. Um, and it does have a three-year limited warranty, a one-year full a free service warranty, and then a 90-day money-back guarantee. Also. Uh, price wise if you go to Home Depot it's 219 and I believe I've seen it on Amazon for probably 185 after tax and everything it's probably gonna be you know 190 you know anywhere around there uh, from front to back they're saying that it is uh, 4.95 inches so right around five inches um, also I think that's it guys we're gonna go ahead I'll just unbox this and I'll uh, show you what I got it does come with a belt clip uh, I've never used a belt clip so I always uh, end up chucking that away uh, like I said from here it just comes in a plastic pack it does have it your your uh, manual for it as well uh, there's your there's your belt clip with the screws that come with it as well all right and there is your tag this tag has uh, has three different model numbers on it. I'm I'm wondering if one is for half inch, one's three quarter, and maybe one's for quarter inch. I don't know what really the differences are between the models here. Um, like it says, they all basically kind of do the same thing. Um, take a quick look at it here. Uh, you do have your LED lights down here and your different selector switches. For it right here depending on what you want to do you got your regular screw and a uh, timber screw so I don't know what the differences uh, are between that um, and then like I said uh, your three LED lights are right there in the front they're recessed in there pretty good and they got a nice rubber coating around it so it'll give it some uh, pretty good protection uh, like I said metal frame and it does have it uh, I think it said like an oil filled area down here to help with uh so it doesn't it's water resistant so inside here some kind of uh resistance to oil inside there some kind of a protective piece inside there that protects the motor windings and stuff from uh, water and stuff i believe is what i was reading online so just to give you an idea here we get the tape measure out from the front of the anvil to the back uh, i'm getting so I'm getting right around five inches. So yeah, five inches. You got like I said, you got this rubber coating protective on it. Um, just to show you guys, they're they're big, large impact. You know, the one that does you know the seven, eight hundred foot pounds or whatnot. You can see how much more it is. So this would be good, like I said, in a really really tight spot. Uh, you can really get in there, and uh, like I said, really get into some really tight spots with this. It's pretty cool. Like I said, and it's got the same reverse switch on it as well with the neutral being in the center position, lock position. It's got the same trigger as them as well. And then here at the bottom, uh, this one here has uh, vents here. It has three large vents. This one here has got five small vents, two on the one side. So it's got, got some more vents on the bottom. Uh, maybe not as many vents up here at the top. Let me go grab a battery and we'll just... Uh, take a little look at it with some uh... alright guys so just to give you a better understanding of the uh, modes here you actually got it here in the uh, instruction manual here it says the uh, precision mode it says helps to prevent over tightening in forward and 
fastener run off in reverse. Forward tool pauses before impacting to help prevent over tightening. Reverse tool lowers speed when fastener is loose to help prevent runoff. So that's good. It'll slow down once the fastener is loose so you don't uh, go flying off. Maybe you have to take a chance of losing the nut. I said timber mode screw it. It's the one with the screw on it says optimize tool performance to help increase the speed of the wood driving application forward. It says tool performance is optimized for faster speed of application. It says reverse tool performance is optimized for fast uh, fastest removal speed. All right, and you got one. It says low speed tool operates at a reduced speed and forward to help prevent over tightening of smaller fasteners, which is good because this thing's got a pretty good amount of torque. And if you're using it on a smaller fastener, you could very easily just uh, strip or break a, a head a bolt head off. It says forward tool operates at a maximum torque output of 150 foot pounds, so that's good. So it's half of the uh, you know the max of the tool. And reverse tool operates at a uh, maximum breakaway torque of 450. So you're still getting the same breakaway torque on one or two, just um, the tightening torque is only half. And like I said, high speed mode tool operates at a full speed and forward and reverse. So it says tool op so 300 for the um, operating for fastening torque and then 450 for the breakaway torque so that is the different levels of the switch here like i said you got your switch here for the light if you want to turn your light on if you want to keep your light on you got the uh, switch here to turn that on and off and like i said these are all leds so they light up for you as well um let's hear what it sounds like and said it's got a uh, variable speed trigger so that's uh, the, the uh, timber screw. Here's one. So it's only supposed to have, like I said, it's only supposed to have 150 breakaway torque. And then here's two with the 300. So you can definitely see the uh, see a difference. Um, just to show you guys, I may go ahead and we'll just uh, break a lug nut or maybe do uh, something that's 100 foot pounds. Just so uh, just to show you how easy it takes 100 foot pounds off. I don't know what you really would want to uh, do with this. If you're working on a car, you know, 100 foot-pounds is probably pretty good for what you're going to see on a car for taking uh, some of your most of your bolts off, like, unless you're getting something up underneath the body, something like that. Uh, let me get set up and we'll uh, see what I can find. All right, guys. So I got this all set up here. Got a, uh, the westward ratchet here. Got it set up for 100 100 foot-pounds right there. Uh, now I would go bigger. I would go more of that, but this is only a half inch bolt. I don't want to break the head of it off. I would need a much larger bolt. I would like to try it at uh, at the 150, but and try it at the full breakaway, uh, the fastening, tightening torque of it, and the breakaway torque. So this is just 100 pounds. What you would have for your lug nut? We'll go ahead and let me. Uh, we'll tighten this up. You'll hear the click. Okay, there's the click. Now we're gonna go ahead. You know, I'm gonna swap it over to the impact here and then we'll go ahead and break away torque. Now remember I said this has got 450 breakaway torque so they should break this away pretty uh pretty simple. There you go. Uh, that was number uh that was number one. Let's try let's try another mode here. Let's try this one here. Uh, There you go. That's a uh, mode one. So when it goes down, it tightens up. It it stops it, so it doesn't over tighten it and break it. Now it says also when you go to break it away, once the uh, fastener breaks free, this thing should slow down. So let's see what, what happens when it breaks it free. Uh, can't really tell. Let's try uh try number one setting on it as well. So there's one that's 150 that's all the way down now we'll just try the uh, breakaway work on this one so yeah i really can't uh it's hard to tell with the uh which one has it now uh versatile will help prevent a slow, lower speed that would be the uh precision wrench tool here it'd be that's this one here the first one i didn't really notice it slow down a whole lot once it was uh once it broke free 
but definitely it was nice for when you were tightening it up. Uh, once as soon as you hit it, it would it would lock it down, stop it, so you didn't uh, break the head of the fastener off. So that was uh so that that did work. Like I said, taking it off though, I didn't really feel any uh any type of difference to it. Um, but that's going to be it guys. We're going to wrap this video up. Just wanted to share that with you. A uh, new cool tool. Let you know how it works out. I'm going to be, uh, you know, it's going to be, be used at work in scrolls and stuff like that for putting spell bolts in. So it should be, uh, it should be pretty good for when you get into some uh, tight spots. I'll let you guys know how it uh, works out, works out for me, how if it holds up, you know, if I have any issues with it. But that's it guys. I'm going to say thank you. God bless and have a great day. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Matthew twenty nine nineteen. All right, guys, I know it can be a little daunting sometimes to uh, go and share your faith with someone when I know that you don't do it a lot or you haven't really done it. Uh, the more you do it, the more comfortable you get sharing it with people. But uh, I just pray that uh, if this... If you haven't heard the word or don't know the word, I pray that you would just uh, seek Jesus, uh, read his word, uh, talk to someone, join a local church, and just get to know him. But that's it, guys. I wanted to say thanks and God bless. Have a great day.